Hello everyone, and welcome back once again. Let's try and avoid the sun to Outer Wilds. And I have to say, I'm actually really, really nervous for this part. Because today, we're going to be exploring what, from what I can gather, is a death world known as Dark Bramble. Currently ominously accompanied by the Quantum Moon. And unlike the other worlds we've explored, I believe this one might actually be inhabited. According to Hornfells, no one's ever landed on it before. Although, from the seed that landed on our own planet, I have to imagine that that might not be true. This might be the final resting place of Feldspar. Although I suppose we can still hope that there's something left to rescue. And he's not the only one. Apparently, this is where the Nomai vessel landed. I say landed, more like crash landed. And even they were afraid to go retrieve it. But look, we're not totally alone in this. We did learn from them that the creatures that potentially live here are blind. So maybe that can help us to survive if they are indeed still here? Oh boy. I'm not even sure where to start. Look! That glow is coming from the center, just like the one... They called it the Anglerfish on Timber Hearth. Which means that flying into there is probably not a very good idea. I'm thinking we head up to one of these platforms. One of these platforms that are formerly the surface of the planet. And try to land. I think maybe we explore using our jetpack. Or better yet, no, what am I even doing? What am I doing? Instead, let's fire the scout inside. Why send a man to do a robot's job, right? Or rather, a Hearthian to do a little scout's job. Alright. Away you go. Oh, I see you back there. I see you making your way around. How deep does this thing go? The one on our home planet was said to be deeper. Yeah, they are in there. Said to be deeper than it should logically be. There's potentially more than one from the look of it. They actually traverse outside and roam around. Okay, this is very, very dangerous, but it seems like our probe has made contact. The probe is still alive. It may actually be possible for us to get in there. But do we want to? Those things are blind, which means they're most likely attracted to whatever sounds we make. So does that mean that if one does show up, that our best bet is to just remain still? I can hear... That's Feldspar's harmonica! Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. I'm hatching an idea. We could hear it from the seed that was on our home planet. So does that mean that maybe whatever this is, this whole deeper on the inside thing, is actually quantum in nature? That maybe, that maybe the reason the one on our planet is so deep is because it actually leads to here. Okay, well look, we're effectively immortal. This I've got to see. Maybe we'd be better off leaving the ship outside. Maybe I'm quieter on my own. There's definitely force pulling us in. Oh, it is so foggy. Or at least I think that's fog. I don't need this ominous creaking. Tell you what. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna... Oh... What if I can't find the ship again? <laughs> this is the kind of situation where these immersive IVAs come in handy. Makes me feel like I'm 
really adrift in here. Quite a safety bubble, but it's honestly... The comfort is only for me because it's not anything real. Let's be very quiet. We're still locked on to some kind of core. And now I guess we've made it there. Those lights must be more anglerfish, but there is a red one as well. I'm going to try and avoid all oh, three of them now. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid those and make my way towards the red one, in fact. Hmm. Now you're showing is over 1,400 meters away. There's a whole lot of you, but I'm terrified to make noise. If I turn around... No, that does not show me where the ship is. In fact... I seem to have lost its signal entirely. Alright, well, let's start trying to gain some momentum in that direction. Oh, this is, this is the kind of otherworldly spookiness that I came to this game for. I had gotten so lost in the archaeology and... The fascination with learning more about the Nomai and seeing distant worlds that... I had honestly forgotten about the potential for horror here. Okay. Uh, maybe we're better moving close to walls. Like a fish moving amongst coral. Now the fish comparison may actually be quite apt here. Look at those giant thorns. I have to wonder, it seems like the anglerfish are living within this giant plant-like organism itself. My light useless at this distance. But I have to hope that these things are so big that they won't be able to get me. That is, if I'm close enough to these walls. I'm not getting any kind of signal from the red, but I have to assume that these white lights are anglerfish. I am so glad that we were able to learn about these things prior to coming here. Imagine if I had just said from the beginning, oh, Dark Bramble seems spooky and gone straight here. That would have been problematic to say the least. I would not have been at all prepared for this. I feel at least a little better having some knowledge coming in. I don't think that sound was me. <gasps> Look. Alright, stay quiet. S stay very quiet. Maybe, potentially, I can use the scout launcher as bait if need be? Oh, look at that huge thing coming out of the fog! At this distance, imagine how big it must actually be. But I've still yet to determine what this thing actually is. The problem with distances like this is I have no idea if I'm close or a million miles away. Wait, now I've lost it. No. I think there's something there. Those holes almost make it look like an even deeper seed. Like, it's almost like it's recursive. Like it's another quantum world within what I assume is this quantum world. Uh, I think this is going to be, if we can ever so slightly maneuver, be another job for the scout launcher. Oh, this is terrifying, and... We're really limited because I don't really have a whole lot of additional oxygen. What was that? Something just flew up there. What are those? Whatever that was, it must have been moving very, very fast. Uh. Let's launch out to the scout. 
and follow it shortly behind. Yeah, there's definitely there's more anglerfish inside. A lot of them, very densely packed. Can we observe them, or will this deepen further? Let's stay close to the edges for safety. It's almost like we're a probe now. Using our, basically, immortality in order to see what we can. You're right there. Oh, they do get so much denser. If I send the scout out, what can it see? Makes it difficult because it does not see in color. Some kind of... Is that maybe an egg cluster of some sort? Whatever it is, it's about a kilometer away. I think maybe we have to... Build our momentum in that direction, however slowly. I don't like hearing sounds from you guys! Oh, they are everywhere! We have to go out in the middle in order to get there. We can use our scout to get an idea of the distances involved. Okay, it's only about 450 meters away. I think we can do this on what oxygen we have. Uh, this feels like... I'm not going to spoil it, but this feels like the abyss. The climax of the abyss. I just saw that movie the other day. Holy cow. Okay, 60 seconds. We gotta learn what this is. We gotta learn something. I'm gonna start getting a little bit riskier with the with the speed. This definitely looks like it's some kind of egg cluster. Alright, I think we can move a little faster. I think we can move a little faster. What's at the center? Nothing? Can't even take a sample? Wait, what is all that down there? I can't tell if they're moving. It's just more brambles. Wait, no, there's another thing down there. No, 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 come on, come on. We can make it, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. We can see more, we can see more, we can see more. We can see more, come on, just a few seconds. Just a few seconds. Oh, come on. Okay. I think our next move... For as risky as it is, I think we need to get the ship in there. Even an extra minute of oxygen would buy us the world of information. Let's make our way in. Making small adjustments, remember. We didn't seem to trigger any of them when we came through the first time. But now we're presumably operating with a much larger and much louder craft. In fact, I'm going to set us in that direction. And I think I should probably go and preemptively put on my suit. Just in case I have to bail in a hurry. Oop. We definitely don't want to fire our thrusters for too very long. And again, if need be, like if we're getting anxious... No, 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 no. Drift down, drift down, drift down. No sound, no sound. Do not try and evade. Yeah, it's definitely a lot harder with this craft. Nope. Nope, run, 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 Go, 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 come on. Uh, I don't think this is gonna be doable in a ship if they're that sensitive. You know, I'm now realizing it's almost like they're using Feldspar's harmonica as another form of the light. 
something meant to draw in prey from Timber Hearth. Alright, I'm already wearing the suit, so we're going to set ourselves up on a fast trajectory towards it. Unfortunately, these lights can actually appear quite far from the anglerfish themselves. So, like, we have no opportunity to evade by the time we see them. And if I have to make any kind of adjustments, we're kind of screwed. I am already wearing the suit, so when it comes time to bail, the time is here. But I am already wearing the suit, so when it comes time to bail, we have that opportunity. We won't have to rush over and grab it. But as before, I do not think it's going to be possible to get the ship through there, because we would have to make some kind of course correction at the last second. We're also actually not going to be able to slow down the ship, so we're going to need to bail before we get to it. I imagine the impact will probably make a whole lot of racket. We don't need to be buckled in for this. Imagine if unbuckling your seatbelt actually triggered them. Let's get ready. I wonder if I get out now, will that preserve my momentum? Come on, where are you? You're just a blur in the fog right now. I anxiously await your arrival, Deeper Bramble. I think I'm starting to be able to make you out. Let's just get a little closer, just because we need all the oxygen we can possibly get. But even this should save us a couple of minutes over what we had before. I've just realized... It seems like those tendrils connecting you are, like, pulsating. It's like some sort of system that feeds itself from the outside, working its way inward. I really, really wish we got some kind of information on our log from this, but I believe that only happens from text and maybe from talking to people? Alright, this is very, very good though. It's a huge advantage over before. Just want to maximize it. Let's go. Let's move in with as much speed as possible. What we learned before also is that we can afford to go faster. Avoid the... Oh, there's one of you right there. Two of you right there. Alright, hug the ceiling. Hug the ceiling and don't make any adjustments right now. Let's just drift forward. And once we're safely past, then we'll angle ourselves more onto a trajectory that we need. But there is another light dangerously close, and I have no way of knowing which of you is closer to me. Which one of you I'll arrive at first. It's all impressions in the dark. Okay, we seem to have been able to get away with that. The ship, no forgiveness. With this, we do have a little bit of wiggle room at the very least. But of course, the closer we get, the fewer adjustments we want to make, the more dangerous doing so becomes. But it looks like we are going to reach it before the anglerfish, and that's good news. Oh no, though, but this is the egg cluster. So we've got to, from here, find the next bramble seed. At least that's what I'm calling them. I'm not sure if it really counts if we find it right here. We should probably destroy these entire clusters right here and now. Down there, maybe? Or are you just another... Yes, that's it. Oh, so we have to find them... Essentially by taking the bait in the proper direction. But we're doing much better than we were doing before. Okay. 
We just needed to have more confidence in our initial plan. But it goes deeper still, and the fog grows still more dense. No helpful red light to guide us, but that one just vanished. Okay, I think that's just another pillar. That's what's happening. They're passing behind the pillars. They're not disappearing at all. Well, look, we can head deeper, but there's nothing to guide us anymore. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, though. We can use the scout launcher to determine what you guys are. You're an anglerfish. Sorry to bother you. Where's that other light? Oh, we already do not have a tremendous amount of oxygen. No, 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 no. I've been drifting closer to you this entire time. I just don't know where to go. I've got nothing. Nothing that way. I really am just lost in the void. No direction, danger all around, limited oxygen forcing me to take risks. Error duplicate signal? What do you mean, duplicate signal? Well, the terrain does seem to continue in this direction. Are you an angler as well? Wait. Hang on, wait. There's something up there. Are you where I came from? Further in? Oh, how deep does this thing go? I keep chasing the duplicate signal, I think. I think that's what I do. Oh no, you know what? Maybe it's just... Maybe it's telling me that because this part, this one final chamber, is recursive. Maybe that's the case. It just keeps looping in on itself over and over again. But what is it that I'm meant to learn from all this, if there even is anything to be learned? James Cameron, help me, please. Yeah, that's what it is. It's recursive. There is nothing else here, at least nothing obvious. Although it does continue quite deeply, it seems. Maybe we continue following this path. The brambles down here are so thick. I'm just talking to myself at this point, because this is already a suicide mission. I mean, I knew it was a one-way trip, but I didn't expect this. I expected there to be something at the end of the rainbow. I mean, I even thought that... Oh, the dangers of speed. I even thought, like, in my own naivety, that maybe I'd find some rock with a campfire and feldspar waving at me. It's not going to be the case for me. I think this is all we do with Dark Bramble. Unless we gain some kind of additional information. I think this is it. Might as well continue to shoot our scout out. This is absolutely terrifying. This is, like, real... I want to say existential horror. That's not really what this is, but it kind of is. 
just knowing that this is the last thing I'll perceive. Nope, we're not using our oxygen as propellant. I'm gone. And this is horrifying. All we have is inside the seed and the vessel. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Maybe they're the reason for this. I mean, maybe... Maybe the vessel's warp core created the conditions that we found ourselves in, and the anglerfish just live within it. Look, it's entirely possible that they were terrified of that place for reasons just of the fauna. I don't know what more we can learn from Dark Bramble, and I want to save the interloper to be kind of its own special thing, probably for the next episode. So I'm heading back to Ember Twin, and I think a good thing to do would be to finally see what's up with this cannon. We never really examined where that ship would take us if we decided to go all the way, so why don't we? And now, let's take it- we put it in the middle before, right? Let's put it to the side and see where it goes. Yeah, we have well and truly left the star system now. I don't know where this is going, but right now I don't really have the time to find out, unfortunately. If it's going anywhere at all. Apparently I just got the Harmonic Convergence achievement, which from what I looked at before is what you get when all of the planets actually align and you can hear everyone's song at once. So I guess for the briefest of moments, we did actually get that signal. Huh. And I do love the idea that each one plays their individual song. And when the planets align, you can hear them all and they form a whole. Uh, yeah, we are well and truly too far away. Tell you what, let's recall ourselves. Boom. And instantly, we're back here on Ember Twin. I don't know how much time I have left in this particular run, but it's probably not a lot. Hello, this is the closest I've gotten to catching you. Hang on, if I... If I get out, suit up quickly, get out from here, can I actually... Where'd you go? Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Never mind. Bring gravity atmosphere, screw you. Uh, this is the Bramble Seed. I know there's at least one crater that we haven't seen. And also, I think I'm starting to see how this compass on the left works. I'm thinking maybe the north is probably the red and the south is the blue. So that's how we can tell. I don't think we see that while we're in the ship, but we do see it on foot. Oh, look at the bramble over there. Now that we sort of know what's in there, it just makes it all the more terrifying. Feldspar's signal vanishes the second we actually enter. Was this here before? Did I miss this somehow? I mean, I guess I could have, because I was walking on the wall, but... Hang on. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well-suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Okay, but... You didn't tell us much about it. No new information that could potentially help me to go back there. I'm honestly kind of glad that I didn't see that. I like it better if they're completely unknown to us because no one has ever survived getting over there. Oh, wait. This isn't just a back door. These are quantum shards. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. 
Whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Yep. That is so weird. I think we need to pay a visit to the Scabro, but to do so means going back to Giant Steep, which is another place that we've not really explored as much as we should have. You may wish to turn that telescope a little to your left. I think what you'd find would be pretty concerning. But yeah, by now, I mean, this is the sixth part I'm recording. But by now, the only part that's actually released is part one. And I have read some of the comments, and one of you said that, you know, this is an open-ended game that you take at your own pace. I've been trying to kind of follow the breadcrumbs logically from one thing to the next, but you said basically follow your instinct, follow whatever piques your interest. And basically, if one line goes dead, start on another, because you'll always have something. And so I think... I need to continue what I should have done before going to Dark Bramble. And that's to head back to Giant's Deep and find this Gabbro, the only one of the other travelers that we've yet to speak to. Gabbro is Gabbro, and we need to find out what that means. Oh, we're not even going to get the dignity of being able to see our end. Look out! <laughs> that face! <laughs> he was entirely unconcerned. <laughs> On approach to Giant's Deep, and we need the signal scope for this. It's going to be so hard to tell what side of the planet you're even on. We're going to have to navigate down within the storm, I think. Hopefully we can look at those lightning flashes and use that to determine where you're actually at. Or rather, where those storms are actually at. Uh, yeah, you're on... You're coming up ahead. We need to land in the right spot. What is that? It looks like an elevator, but I can't see where it would lead. Uh, I had forgotten how dangerous this place is. You must be close, though. Yes! Yes, we found you! Alright, that was quick. I've come to return your lightsaber. I don't remember if we need a suit here, but I'm going to bring it just in case. That was quite a splash. Well, we don't need a suit here, here, because you've got all these trees growing. In fact, you seem to have... Oh, that gravity is crushing. But we find you just chilling right here. This is not exactly a nice vacation spot. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Yeah, first. So, hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? But... The casualness of this... No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. You are the most... I don't even know the word to describe it. All I know is that I found my person. What did you think it was? I figured it'd be some kind of fidgety time business. Yeah, you're a great scientist. But I wasn't really thinking about what's happening to the shape of time, you know? But a loop makes sense here. Let's go with loop for now. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they'd died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. I love this game so much. <laughs> Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. 
What happens if I were to... I'm not going to do it, obviously, but what happens if I were to start a new game and come to you first? And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. Ah, so you found it here. I don't remember if we were told that in the beginning. I was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like it had seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. That happened to me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones out of the time loop. Sorry, aware of the time loop, although I feel like my sentence is still fitting. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory. But if you find out anything new about the statues of the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. We found someone we can talk to! It wasn't until he said that that it occurred to me I can report my new findings. Anyway, that's what's new with me. But hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about you, you know? I have so much to tell you. I found something. Nice. What you got for me? I found a photo of you inside the old radio tower. Nice. Did I look busy in it? <laughs> I hope I looked busy. It must have been from the time Hornfell sent me to check on the Deep Space Satellite. They thought old Spacey might be malfunctioning. But I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is probably how it got a shot of my beautiful, behelmeted face, come to think of it. I always thought it was kind of sweet that the best way to find old Spacey is to use a map that's generated by the satellite itself, isn't it? Like it's inviting us to visit. I really have found my people. Good old deep space satellite. Always making sure we know where we're going. Why did Hornfells think it was broken? Oh, by the way, I love how they included dialogue for people just discovering this mechanic from him. Dunno. Hornfells probably told me why, but Hornfells tells me lots of things. And sometimes I tune out. Or pretend there's signal interference and I can't hear them. Best guess says the Deep Space Satellite must have sent Timberhearth some weird pictures. But, like, what's considered weird for a satellite, you know? Anyway, if you ever want to visit Old Spacey, fastest way is to jump into your ship and use your solar system map to lock onto the satellite, same as you would any astral body. Okay, well... Hmm, unidentified signal nearby... Well, besides you... Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you. They'll put you in a trance if you stare at them long enough. Alright, well, I want to tell you about everything I found, and one of those things I found, apparently I can't tell you about Dark Bramble, is what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa. That's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop. For real? Did you figure out why? It's tempting, but too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slate or Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, though, broke might be the wrong word. Because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. That's the thing, it seems like something that they knew would happen, but figured it would achieve the desired result anyway. Where is your ship? <laughs> That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet... somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. <laughs> That'd be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. This guy is everything I strive to be. That looks like a bramble seed, actually. Uh, maybe if we get in our ship, we can go catch it. Maybe we can learn something more about what's going on at Dark Bramble. Although I think our goal for the next uh, part will be to finally check out the interloper. Ah, here's your campfire. 
Yeah, okay, so it went off in that direction. Let's try and follow it. Ow! I forgot about the extra gravity. Which is something you shouldn't do. Alright, let's head off in search of that bramble seed. Uh, ah, there's your ship! Uh, I wonder if we'll float as well. We will, kind of. Yeah, about to the same extent as you. Wait. Okay. Decided to cover all my bases really quick. Let's see if there's anything on your ship. Oh, there's... That looks like some kind of bioluminescent jellyfish. And there's a very visible core at the bottom. There's still so much more to explore in this game, but we can't enter your ship. Well, I found it. Can I report that back to you? Take off again, and immediately we find the Bramble Seed. Again, seemingly generating some of these crystals. Either generating them or bringing with from Bramble. But this... Hang on, this one looks a little bit different. Seven hundred meters away, there's one of those things. But we can actually make our way through. Ghost matter detected. Hang on. Wait, we gotta put this away, equip scout launcher, and then switch to photo mode, and then I can do that. And this does actually generate oxygen. We've gotta choose our paths carefully, though. Yes, thank you for reminding me. We've got to choose our boosts even more carefully, because otherwise we won't be able to make these jumps in the intense gravity. Gravity which seems to fluctuate as we wander through. Uh, hang on. Let's get into the best possible position to make this jump. Ugh. Even still, I almost didn't make it. More ghost matter. Quite a lot of it as well. right up in the cyclone now. Is this thing going to be taken up? Oh, it looks like it. Yeah, no, we're being taken up. In we go. In we go. We can sort of... Oh, no. Ghost matter, ghost matter, ghost matter! We're dead. I wonder... I wonder if the storms are random or if that's something we have to get to before a certain point, like on Ash Twin. There's oxygen there. I can't get a good look, though! The whole thing gets launched up and out into space! That is absolutely nuts! Maybe we can land on it now! That happened very quickly, but it's gonna be pulled right back down. Another thought has just occurred to me. Had we not died by being thrown into the ghost matter, would we have died from being sucked into the cyclone? Or would it have just launched us into space alive? We can light a campfire and roast a marshmallow right here if we're insane. Which I think we are. But also, let's play this recording. Trip 4, entry number whatever, crashes 2, <laughs> boring crashes 0, remember to see Slate when I get back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giant Steep. You just got feldsparred. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. I can't wait to tell Hornfells and Gosan about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. I would put a pin in that. 
refuel our jetpack for whatever little we had. And let's, you know, uh, we could doze off. That's one thing we could do. Or we could roast a mallow. Haven't done that in quite a while. Come on, let's get it nice and brown. We're going to put ourselves in all this danger. We want ourselves a good one. Uh, now I'm craving marshmallows. Um. I kind of feel like trying to hunt down that quantum signal. I hope it's not in the middle of this giant cyclone. But the more I maneuver around it, the more it kind of seems like maybe it is. If we come out on top and collapse into the middle of it, what if we do that? Oh. I really don't know how we go about reaching this thing. Unless, what if we enter the cyclone from underwater? Can our ship move down here? Uh, only just. But maybe there's something that can be done. Yeah, it seems like there's an island at the center of this storm. I can just barely see it. Maybe if we push through... Oh, I don't know if we can... Okay, so we made it back into our ship, that's the good news. Bad news, that ship is currently in a cyclone. So let's just uh, strap in. I'm no longer allowed to strap in. Oh, now we can, okay. Well, and we learned what happens then. It does actually save you. Good, take notes for science. But yeah, there's one huge storm that we can't seem to penetrate, but there is definitely something constantly within it. Alright, well here's some place we haven't been. There are no my writings here. Let's actually get some info into our ship's log for once in this video. This looks like another one of those teleport platforms, meaning there's got to be more of those stations out there, right? Oxygen here as well. Meaning this was a settlement, although that's quite obvious from the other things. Maybe this has to do with the teleport? There must be something useful here. Oh wow, there's a whole bunch down there. Is that... no, I don't think that's the same place we discovered earlier. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. Memory statues, that's what we encountered. That's what started this whole thing. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Ah, uh, I love No My Mischief. I really want to see the test too, Lamy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flocks will let us see a later test. Flux specifically told us not to do that. Okay, so they were kind of outvoted. But it came from here. That's what we learned. Perhaps... Uh, perhaps we can get in by diving. Oh. They enabled this to walk along the side. I wonder if this will go underwater. No such luck. Only enables you to come up to here. I'll tell you what, what's all that stuff over there about? I do kind of think we can access that chamber over there by diving, because it looked like there was water at the bottom of it. Statue workshop. Down we go. But we don't need the core, we only need here! Well, that's a pickle. 
Um, hopefully we land with it on top of me. Really hope it'll be able to Buster Keaton this thing. Yep, come on. Aim for middle, aim for middle, aim for middle, aim for middle, aim for middle! Oh, yeah, we did it! Oh, that was exciting. Just like everything on this planet. And really every planet we've been to tonight. Oh, this has been such an action-packed episode after I thought things were slowing down. Dark Bramble Creepy and this one a Thrill Seeker's Paradise. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> I was like, oh, another traveler was here. Nope. <laughs> Just goes to show how rough we've been run. All right. I don't know how much time is left in this cycle, so... We've got to learn all we can and learn we sh certainly shall. Hey, if another one of these things opens its eyes, can we clone ourselves? We haven't seen a wall like this one before. Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. Ah, not the chosen one? See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Now remember, we did say that if there are Nomai still alive, they're alive in Ash Twin's core. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Flox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Oh, so there's some kind of end-to-end -end receiving going on. Oh, it feels good to be learning again. Although I must say, it's not like I was ever bored. What secrets can you teach us? I have installed the masks inside Ashtwin Project, Flox. They look beautiful. Although I do feel as if I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. So the project did succeed. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. May be triggered by the loss of the orbital cannon? They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. That's what it's doing. It's almost like it's intentionally trying to save us from the supernova. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Maybe they're not ancient at all. Maybe we're caught in the same loop at the same time. They just haven't contacted us. Well, honestly, that raises a lot of possibilities. That's what among the least likely explanations. But I think I remember this. I think this is where we were transported from the mine or some other place. I think I remember seeing a cave like this before. Maybe at one of the stations. But this shows us this once again. Some structure, because I can see those shadows spinning out in the depths of space.
Now, unfortunately, that final platform does look to be quite inaccessible. Uh, the only time I can think where it would be possible to get up there is if we were in here in the moment when this thing were dragged up to space. But only a complete lunatic would attempt that. It really begs the question of just how random all this actually is. Is it random whether or not something gets picked up, or is it something we can time and exploit? Maybe there's even some way in there where we can power this on and have these rings transport us inside. All this is just speculation, of course. Let's continue to have a look around the surface. Maybe we can find that other island that went by before. Yeah, you there. Oh, yeah, we've already visited you. You are the shipyard. Just for curiosity's sake, what happens if we do try to land on here? Nothing. Yes, yeah, so those symbols that we see, those must actually be the masks. The ones that actually receive our consciousness. I love how much is confirmed and how much is speculation, and all the thoughts we come up with in between. Maybe I can... Yeah, let's shoot a probe over there just to see what happens. It's another one of those rings, so they must be some kind of teleport system, right? Or some type of travel. planet goes dark as the sun collapses. It's going to take the longest to reach us out here because we're the farthest, but oh, this is in just the right spot for you to know what just happened. Light returning only to immediately be snuffed out. Oh, we're going to be entering through the remains of the cannon, if it doesn't hit us. But okay, I'm thinking I, I am about to end this part. I was going to end it with that loop ending. But as this is the Thrill Seeker episode, I'm thinking that now might actually be a good time to go for a dive to the core. I mean, I'm feeling it right now, especially since in the next part, I want to make a run for the interloper. Let's go. Maybe we can even get a feel for when this island gets taken up in the cyclone. Come on, let's try and go further down. Oh, right, the current. I had forgotten about that element but they had some way to beat it. Oh, great. The entrance to my ship is below the current. Okay, nothing to do now then, but get in here and wait to see if the thing picks us up. Well, I must say, even though we didn't get to read a whole lot of Nomai text to fill our ship's log, you certainly can't say we didn't learn anything. We not only found somebody stuck in the same loop as us who we can share our findings with, but we actually learned more about the actual nature of what's happening to us. Uh, they are saving us from beyond the grave, if this is to be their grave. Uh, this was also a really scary episode. We learned why even the Nomai feared Dark Bramble. And we learned that if we're to learn the fate of Feldspar, we're probably going to have to go back at some point. Preferably when we have a little bit more information under our belt that... Hopefully, they'll be able to tell us in their writings. But next time, we're taking on the interloper. If we're not getting picked up right now. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. This might be our chance. This might be our chance. Hang on, wait. No, no outro yet. 
No outro yet? Come on! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, we only have like a second to make that jump. Wait, we may have another chance still. We may have another chance still. Come on, up we go, up we go! Ow, you can't be serious. Okay, well, that'll be the very first objective in the next part, and then the interloper. But I guess I'll spare you all the attempts. Until next time, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. This game's certainly airing more on the comfy side, but it's got its share of creepy as well. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.